I have another small delay due to one of my commenters named um, Euclid or Euclidean. I guess that's after the Greek mathematician Euclidean geometry or something like that. Anyway, I asked for some advice on the wiring on this pump and I did get some. He made some good points, which sometimes is annoying, but I'll give credit where credit's due. His point was this little speaker wire may not provide enough juice for this big ass pump, which he's probably correct. So what he suggested I do, and I'm going to take that advice, is to pry these small speaker wire connectors off. Then I'm going to get some bigger diameter wire which carries more juice whether it works or not I don't know but I'll feel better about it he's right anyway I'll gently pry that off put it on here bigger cable and I'll use my soldering gun and solder right here to carefully solder these onto the red then I have a black and I will do the same thing then what I suggested is I get rid of these um, Teflon or I don't know what the hell are they are they're insulators used for speakers and use shrink tubing which if you've never used that this is really good for you put it over your wire it's a lot larger and it shows right here where you put it over the, the wire that you want to insulate and use a either a heat gun or you can use a hair dryer or you can use your um, solder gun if you go over it very lightly what it will do is shrink the fit the um, the wrapping then he had another good point which since I'm not an electric expert it made sense this is the battery that I'm using in the deal right here what he suggested is look you're running all these fans gauges um, other electronic components does your battery have enough juice to power all this throughout your bikes range and that's a good point. That is a good point. So what I thought I'd do is this this uh, True Gel was purchased at uh, Bike Bandit. It's I don't know seventy eighty dollars, but never buy a stock battery because these stock batteries are nothing but bullshit. That they used to be good, they're not now. Get yourself go go and do some research and find a good battery. But what I'm thinking about doing is what you can do with these batteries is you can wire them in series in series means you take another battery like this put it side by side or whatever you go negative to negative positive to positive and what you do is you still keep the 12 volt circuitry but you double the cranking amperage power as far as I understand and I thought about putting a small tray like this underneath my in my package space in order to try that out to see if maybe I need more power at top speed because I don't know now to physically do this with a volt meter amperage whatever I'm not very good with electronics so I can't do that but he was he was wondering will it run my lights and my turn signals and all these other things and my spark plug at at full strength with all these extra add-ons that I'm adding on that I don't know but you could have some good advice I give credit where credit's due and I'm going to take the time this will be another delay but I might as well do it right right EC might as well do it right we'll take these prongs off carefully put them on a bigger gauge wire 
put the uh, insulation on there for the bottom of this or what he suggested which I won't do is to go to a um, a wrecking yard find an Audi with this plug cut the plug off and use it except uh, they aren't gonna let you cut the plug off they can't get have to buy the whole wiring unit and they'll screw you on that too so that's not really a big a big thing but that is good advice from Euclid even though I fight with him sometimes I was gonna ban him but he does have good advice so anyway that's what I'm gonna do because it is the right thing to do is follow that advice anyway thank you and I'm gonna do some wiring